What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. Uh, we're gonna go outside in just a second. I want to show you guys something I'm cooking here. And of course it is gonna taste a lot better because it is in this awesome OU Sooners crock pot. But I'm trying something different here and I am just cooking some pork ribs in the crock pot. Got some barbecue sauce and a little water, some spices in there. It's coming out great. It smells great anyway and everything's falling right off the bone. We'll see. And I don't know what's up with this dude. Those things really creep me out. All right, so let's go outside. Uh, today's video is not about any of that. It's about, we're gonna see what kind of treats these goats like to eat. I know they like pumpkins, they like all kinds of stuff, but I got a couple of things here in the shop that I wanna try. And everybody's out here sunning on this beautiful Oklahoma day. Super nice outside. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys feed your goats? If you guys have goats, leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys feed your goats for treats because every animal has to have treats, right? And guys, I want to take this time right now uh, to ask you guys, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, we are so close to hitting 13,000 subscribers. Um, if you guys could help us out and hit that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. So let's see what we got in this shop. All right guys, so we're in the shop where I keep some of our feed and we got two things I want to try. We got some sunflower seeds, some black oil sunflower seeds, and we just got some regular old corn, just some deer corn that we use to fill our deer feeders. And uh, these little dudes think they can come in my shop and uh, do their business in here, so I don't know what's going on with that one's hair. <laughs> Looks like it has a mohawk. Uh, let's try it out on these. Let's give them a few sunflower seeds, see what they do. And uh, throw some corn out there too, let's see which ones they like. Oh, I think they're going for the corn. Yep. They like the corn. <laughs> you guys better clean up some sunflower seeds too. Y'all don't even chew them. You just swallow them whole. All right. So uh, I got a couple baggies here. I'm going to take a couple baggies, one of each, and uh, see which one the goats prefer. So if you guys didn't know, these black oil sunflower seeds are really, really good for the goats. Uh, it makes their hair real shiny. It's got a good amount of fat in it, a good fat for them. And a good amount of them isn't going to hurt them. So got a bag full of these sunflower seeds. Now let's get some corn. These little hens are over here fighting over <laughs> the sunflower seeds on the ground. All right, then we've got some regular old deer corn. And I'm about to make a mess. Y'all clean that up. All right, that's good. All right, corn or sunflower seeds? What's your guys' guess? So these turkeys are starting to get a little smarter. When they hear these goats crying, Okay, let me start over. When I'm outside and I go in the shop and come out, the goats automatically start crying. They're like, Dad, Dad, come feed us. They're always starving, right? Well, what I was saying is, the turkeys have gotten a little smarter. When they hear the goats crying, they come running to the gate because they know I'm coming with food usually. So they're kind of talking to each other. You guys want to try some of these little snacks? Huh? Sure. All right. All right, so Shadow decided to escape on me. I'm gonna throw some corn out here to try to get them. See if I can get her back in here. Nope, she's going over to the old garden spot. Mojo, you want in here, buddy? Come on. Shadow, I can't do all this with one hand. Come on. Look. I got my arms full, it's kind of hard to hold. And... Come on, get in here. You're the one that ran out. Come on. Come on, Mojo. Mojo, come on. Come on. Get in here, Shadow. All right, you're missing out on the treat. She can stay out there. Come on. All right. She's 
probably the smartest one. She knows something's going on. Hold your horses there. Alright, let's try these sunflowers first. Here you go. Oh yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to get my camera knocked over. You want some? Here. Come here and get you some. Oh, you want the corn, huh? Alright, she ate that all up. You guys don't knock over my camera. Here, try this. Oh yeah, they like the corn as well. I don't think it matters, they like both of them. Alright. Hey, everybody's coming up here to see what I got. Here goes face. Hey. Look. You know no goat. All right, I think it doesn't matter what you give them. They're just, uh, here, princess. Princess. Ghostface, somebody. You and your mom's fighting up there. You're the big, heavy, pregnant one. Yeah, they really like the corn. Here, turkeys. Everybody get some. It's like a parade. There you go. Shadow's out there eating grass. She's missing out on all these good treats. <laughs> See if we can't go get her. I don't want to leave her out there or she misses out on everything. Shadow! You coming or not? Huh? Come on! I got a handful of corn for you even though you ran out on me. Come on. Get in here. Nope. <laughs> She's off to the races. Here, Sally. Alright, I don't got any friends anymore. Just old Mojo. Here. And she came back. Golly! So damn, girl. You guys, did you guys see that? She pretty much just inhaled it in. Ghostface, which one's your favorite? Good thing I brought these baggies. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, in my bag. All right, here I'll give you some of your feeder. Whatever the goats don't eat, the chickens and turkeys will come up for sure. This is just a little snack, guys. We got a turkey jumping on the goats' backs. <laughs> All right, I gotta throw some out here. Chickens are getting jealous. Uh oh, you got the turkeys over there. Let's go let these turkeys in too. If you guys would quit jumping out of your pen every day, come on. Hurry up. Well, one of them was smart enough to make it. Alright, time to go give some to the Spanish goats and see if they like both of them. So it's pretty obvious, the pygmy goats and the turkeys and chickens don't really care. They like both. So, sunflower seeds and the corn win. And these are whole kernel, kernel corn, they're not a uh, chopped corn or the cracked corn. I think they like crunching on it actually. You waiting to be fed or what? 
Okay, so you guys are probably wondering why I'm making a video over which treat a goat prefers. Um, I got a uh, question the other day from a subscriber and they wanted to know how to make a goat tame. You know, they got some goats and they got a few goats that aren't real friendly. And, uh, you know, that can be a pain in the butt sometimes because if you need to work your goats or check on them every so often, it's very important to do that. And if you got a goat that won't come anywhere around you, it's hard. It makes it very hard to maintain a proper goat herd. You know, you need to be able to check them all out. So, uh, you know, every day I come out here, they have a ritual where I come out and feed them. When I come out here, they know I'm coming. They see a bucket. They all run to me. So I'm their best friend right now. And now they see this in my hand. So anyways, that's pretty much why I got that idea to do this video is... If you guys are having problems with the goat not being friendly or not wanting to come around when you go out to their pen, try to give them some treats. Draw them in. Uh, do it every day for a month or so and see if it makes a difference. It's one way that I know in the past we have had problems with that. Uh, goats would be wild and wouldn't come anywhere around us. You come out and give them treats here and there, you finally can kind of trick them into uh, being your friend again. You know, Daisy. Huh? These goats make you nervous. All right, so just like in the pygmy field, we got these cable spools set up. And I'm gonna set on one and see if these goats will come to me. Tiny will, of course, she's a bottle baby. Are you here, guys? We got some treats for you. The Tony will get them. She's not afraid of me, she's a good girl. She's a big Kiko goat. Honey, you want some? You're friendly. Not you. What's the deal with you and Mojo? Your guys aren't even goats. Hey, Tony. Hey. Sure, need out of my hand. All right, I gotta show you what Daisy's doing. Daisy's like, Dad, please pet me. I see you, girl. Golly, you're heavy. You're a heavy, girl. All right, let me feed your goats real quick. Then I'll pet you, okay? Get out. So, some of them coming around me. Let's give them some sunflower seeds now. Look. One sock, looky here. I'm holding my hand out and nobody's coming. There you go. There you go, Tony. Tony's my buddy today. Here, one sock. Uh oh, he's trying to cheat. He's got the little hole in the bag. Goodness, girl. Look, put some on that table. Alright, this might not be a good idea. We're fixing to find out. Hey, there's my finger. Look. Alright guys, so as I was saying earlier, this is a good way to get your whole herd to come up to you. Um, you know, you could just use feed if you want to, but in this case, I'm just kind of hand feeding them. I can kind of Look them over a little closer for the ones that are getting close to me and eating out of my hand. But they love the corn and they love sunflower seeds. And like I said, both of these are actually a uh, way to get some good amount of fat to these goats in their diet. And whatever they don't eat, the chickens, birds, whatever, they'll eat it right up. So you're not going to be wasting none. Kind of like a petting zoo, you know, when you go to these petting zoos and they charge you a dollar or whatever for like a little cup of treats for the goats or the animals there. Yeah, they make a killing on that type of stuff. 
These two Kikos are my buddies today and Daisy's my buddy. She ain't left my side. Alright guys, I gotta give some to everybody. You guys don't knock my camera over now. So you can see these goats love all this stuff as treats as well. We're going crazy over it. Daisy said, where's my treat, Dad? I'll, br I'll bring you a bone in a minute. How about that? Huh? You don't like corn and sunflower seeds, do you? Huh? All right, let's make sure everybody gets some of this. Alright, so if you ever want to check your animals right now, it'd be a good time to do it. Um, I usually feed mine over there in the barn and it's dark. So if I'm really wanting to check them out visually and uh, kind of check out where they're at with the pregnancy and such, I got a good good amount of daylight. And you can see this one here, her udder is kind of starting to fill up. That's a good sign. Both of these right here as well. And uh, that one as well. So won't be long. Next month we'll be getting some kids. All right, guys, I have to go get Daisy a bone. She's upset that I didn't bring her a treat yet. And uh, she's she's one of my favorites out here, so I got to treat her right. So, uh, anyways, I just wanted to share this short little video with you guys while the weather is nice here in Oklahoma. Uh, hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know, what, what do you guys feed your goats or any of your other livestock? I know some of you all got horses, ponies, whatever, alpacas, llamas. Let me know, what do you guys feed your animals for treats? Or to keep them friendly or to uh, get them to come to you when they normally wouldn't. Now they won't let me out the gate. Alright. So guys, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> They're trying to bust through the gate. <laughs> Smash that thumbs up and we'll see you next time.